Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today we are going to unbox and check out my new Losi Baja Ray. As you can see, this is one of the limited edition Mint 400 uh, trucks. So it's got a couple of cool things. It's got the red cage. Obviously, it's got a different graphic, you know, on the body and stuff like that. It still uses the Raptor body. Uh, so if you guys don't know, when the Baja Ray first came out, it just had kind of a generic Losi body on it. And then when they released the King Shock Edition and that Rhino, I think it was, that's when they went to the Raptor Ray. So this truck's kind of always been dubbed the Raptor Ray, Baja Ray, Raptor Ray. But anyways, guys, what I want to do is let's get into the box and check it out. All right, guys, there you have it. I've got it out of the box. And you know what? I got to say this thing looks great. If you noticed during kind of the unboxing, you know, my finger kind of doing this, what I was doing was when I ordered this and I ordered it and I paid for it. And then all of a sudden I had a moment that I was like, oh, you know what? This is a low C. These are going to end up being stickers. They're going to be decals. And I was like, oh, man, should I even bother with this? Kept looking at it, I thought, you know what, it is a really cool looking truck, why not? And I am happy to say, guys, like, super happy. These are not decals. Paint, the Losi symbol at the top, right here. Check it out, guys. That's paint. It's not a sticker. Okay? I am so happy to say that. Because if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I can't stand when companies just paint a body and then throw a bunch of stickers on it. So Horizon Hobby, Mint 400, you know, these things are stickers, and I understand that. That's not a big deal. But the actual graphics on the body, and including the Losi on the roof, are not stickers. They're paint. Super, super good job, Losi. I'm glad you did that. Red Cage looks very, very cool. Um, probably in another video, guys, I will pull the panels off and stuff like that. I do have something coming already for the truck. Um, that I'm super, super pumped about because it's really, it's the first time I think I've ever bought um, something this expensive from this company. So yeah, I'm making a little bit of a surprise. Um, you know, I've had their products before. I've had some of their products before on other trucks. Uh, but this is the first time I've bought something from them. Again, in, in a more expensive um, kind of thing. But so yeah, that'll be coming hopefully within the next week. But guys, truck looks really, really good. I'm pumped to start running this thing. Um, you know, it, it's, I always find, you know, the solid axle trucks to be a little bit different and, you know, you know, there's, there's a fun factor in the sense that they don't handle as well as something like an independent, uh, suspension truck front and rear, but that's okay. You know, to me, it adds to the driving of it. If you want to go out and you want to run a slash four by four and you get that full independent suspension front and rear, you'll take this thing out and yeah, this thing's going to drive a little bit different. It's probably not going to drive as good, but it's still fun. And it's still, it just adds to the driving experience, in my opinion. But you definitely have tons of suspension. I think the back is just insane 
which is super cool. I can't wait to see this thing just kind of ripping along. Um, what I'm going to do though, guys, is I'm going to show you a few things that I find really, well, odd for a truck that here in Canada, um, I think this was six, six ninety nine, six sixty nine, um, which is pretty expensive. Now, yeah, it's a limited edition. It's a different body. You get the red cage. Uh, you do get a battery as well, guys. It's still in there. It just, it comes in the truck. But you guys can probably see right here. Here's a connector. There is a battery in there. It's a 5002S 30C, which is pretty good. Um, you know, for a truck this size, there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people, I've seen some people, you know, kind of complain about the 30C discharge. But honestly, for a truck this size, this weight... Uh, it's a 3,800 kV motor. That's fine. The, that size battery will be fine. It'll, it'll, you know, do right. it. So if you've watched any unboxings of this truck, um, everybody always kind of almost goes straight to one thing. And that is this. I don't even know what this is. Um... <laughs> okay, so I'm not even going to bring the 7PX into the screen right now but i'll grab the rugged rugged this thing rugged this thing now to even do <sighs> even worse here is a tqi i have never been crazy about these radios they work i've always thought though they felt cheap and i usually never use them i've only started using them now that my kids drive and to be fair, a TQ radio is, you know, besides from obviously having some of the, the extra features, the, the shape and everything about them is the same and they feel the same. Here's this thing. I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. You know, it's funny. I, I know what's going on here, to be fair. You release the Baja Ray <clears throat> and it's a limited edition. So yes, you're going to pay... A little more money for getting the limited edition truck, getting that, you know, color scheme, all that kind of stuff. And they do include a battery, which is is fine. It's, again, like I mentioned, guys, it's a 2S uh, 30C 5000. But you're also paying more money for the truck. So the only thing I can think of, and what's weird is, if you look right here, it does say Spectrum. And it doesn't say spectrum anywhere on this i'm assuming that you know for a price point for a margin for a percentage that they, they needed to pull off after they did the truck and you know obviously would you know the first few times when you when you release something new a new color scheme you're paying for somebody to that designed it i'm assuming there was a margin that they had to make you know they had to hit sort of thing and after they did everything after they did the truck and they did the red cage and they they did the battery we haven't even gotten to this yet. They were like, oh, well, we can include a radio or we can't even include one of our cheap spectrum radios, like the ones that come in some of the Armas. They stuck this thing. It feels horrible. It looks horrible. Yeah, it's 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 got some, you know, it's got some trims and stuff on it. But this reminds me of something that you either get from like Walmart or you get, you know, when you buy like a micro, I think I've had like a micro mini T mini T or a micro T that came with a, a, not this radio, but something very close to it. So I seriously don't even, you know what, honestly, it should have just been a bind and drive, um, right from the beginning is, is how I look at it because to put this in there just means now, um, I've got to pull the truck apart and pull out the receiver because I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. You know what? It probably works okay, but I'm not going to use it. Second thing. In here, this is a little teeny tiny charger. It is 20 watts. Now, it's USB, <laughs> It's they say USB Type-C, but the funny thing is it still has a USB-A to Type-C. So to really kind of get full benefits of USB Type-C, it would have had to have been Type-C to Type-C. It's not. But in here, you get this little guy, which I feel like I'm gonna break just holding onto it. 20 watts. For those that don't know about wattage when it comes to chargers, this little guy will probably do 
about 2.3 amps, 2.4 in there somewhere. That's it. That's its maximum amount, which means if you're trying to charge that 5,000 milliamp battery, you, if let's say it takes about 45 minutes, you're probably going to take about an hour and a half, I would say roughly to charge. I will test it guys. I'll in another video that I do on this truck when I'm doing some of the modifications and stuff, I will let you guys know how long it took this little guy to charge. Uh, you know, again, is it nice that it came, came with the truck? Yeah. To be fair, and I mean, you can do this on any charger, um, having a, you know, a low C rating, not even a one C rating. So something like this, at let's say 2.3 on a 5,000 milliamp battery is to be honest, guys, a great way to charge it. The, the length of the, the life of your battery will be even longer. I never charge things at a 2C or a 3C rate ever. I've always been 1C and I will always stick to it no matter what the battery says. But again, this is, you know, it's nice that they include it, but I really don't think anybody's going to use it. All right. So I thought I would just power up the truck so you guys can check out the light bar because there's a light bar on the front and there's also a light bar on the rear. Now to do that, obviously we need some type of transmitter on. So I thought, hey, I'll use this. No word of a lie, guys. It took me a minute to find it. I put it down someplace and it was, it's so teeny tiny. I lost it. And I was like, where the heck did I put it? I finally found it. The other thing I want to show you guys on this. So I picked it up and I was like, hey, where do the batteries go? Fiddled around down here, try to do all that stuff. Nope. Check this out. It's up here. Isn't that weird? Then, I guess, we pull this, oh, and we lose that. Hopefully you guys can see this, but that's where the double A's go, in there. So how odd is that uh, for a radio? I, I, guys, this truck, super cool, looks great. The fact that it is, you know, painted and not stickers is awesome, but this thing, I don't even know what to say. Those are triple A's. They're not even double A's. They're triple A's. All right, guys, there you have it. Front light bar. Hopefully I don't blind you. And the rear. That's pretty slick. I always like, you know... I like when companies just do that kind of right out of the box and don't charge you a hundred bucks or 150 bucks for their type kit that fits perfect. I know that we can always buy aftermarket stuff and fit it and make it work. And, and it always does, but I always find it. It's just nice when the company itself does it right out of the box, you know, the fitment's going to be good and you know, it's going to look good. Well, at least we know it works. All right, guys, there you have it. The Losi Mint 400 Baja Ray. It's a limited edition. Like I've mentioned, they're making 600 of them. I have number 515. Um, and, you know, I'm like a, a Traxxas, guys. It's not like this thing is going to be worth a ton of money. It's not like, you know, the guys that do the snap-on stuff that, you know, buy a truck for 500 bucks and then turn around and try to sell it for three grand the next day. That's not going to happen with this truck. Um, I don't think Losi's kind of carry that sort of value when it comes to their limited edition stuff, but more so guys, I don't plan on doing that. I bought this truck because one, I did want a Baja Ray and two, this one was just cool that having, you know, the fact that it is a limited edition is fun, but I really, really like the graphics on it. I love the colors and I really like the fact that you get the red cage, just something a little bit different than, um, you know, obviously the other Baja Rays that are out there, but Definitely, guys, looking forward to getting this thing out, ripping us through the paces. Um, you know, the only thing I can remember, too, from the... my I actually had a Baja Ray when they first came out, and there was a couple of issues. One of them was... Bring you guys in. Back here with the third member in the bearings. Um, I know those first editions, basically, they had, a, like, really kind of tiny bearings, and people were blowing them out and stuff like that. So you had to replace the third member, in it, and you got bigger bearings with it. You got, like, oversized bearings. From what I understand, they fixed that with this truck. So, or actually with the Raptor Rays in general, once they went from like that stock, the, uh, 
non-licensed Losi Baja Ray body to the Raptor body. They had, I believe it's around that time that they had fixed the rear axle. So there's actually some reinforcement here. You can kind of see right here. It's reinforced right here. And there's some stuff that they've done internally as well. And I'm pretty sure, again, this third member with the bearings is different also. Uh, the other thing I remember from my first Baja Ray was the motor in ESC. I remember having quite a bit of cogging and stuff like that with it. So I think my Losi... Or sorry, my ProLine Profusion has a good hobby wing system in it. And I may swap that over to this. I don't drive that truck uh, at all, actually. So I was thinking that, you know what, I may throw it into this. I will run this truck on the stock system first just to get a feel for it and all that kind of stuff. But I know it doesn't look like they've changed the motor or the ESC. So I'm assuming it'll be the same issue. But uh, guys, there you have it. As always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and enjoy the pics.